So, Carol, how did you first come across Border Collie Rescue? We first met you at the open day at um, Minster Vets. We were doing a stall, for, I was doing a PDSA stall, which is one of my other charities, but we, I first met you there. And um, I knew my husband was always wanted to work with them, so it was an opportunity to sort of get involved. Brian's a, a joiner, but he used to keep, he used to be involved in farming himself, didn't he? So he His somehow... parents had a farm, um, not far from, well, about 12 miles outside York, and towards Tacaster, far side of Tacaster, and it's, they were farmers all their lives. And um, he used to run with the dogs then, and so he was quite used to them and loved them. Yeah. So he's always had an interest in He's always had an interest in border collies, I've always had them. And how are you finding it working here? I'm enjoying it at the moment. I didn't know, I didn't think, I didn't think I'd get involved um, myself. I thought it would just be Brian to come down and do different things, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. Uh, and do you think Brian's enjoying it? He's a bit camera shy, so he's not here with us. No. <laughs> uh, yes, he is doing his, um, he may be doing sort of, shall we say, a busman's holiday at the moment. But he knows that he'll be, he's watching the dogs as well and getting used to them again, I think. Yeah, good. His particular skills bring an expertise to mm. the job, which we couldn't have achieved any other way. And what I started off as a bit of rough carpentry, he's turning into a very nice piece of finished work, which is we're very grateful for. And what would be your main interest in working at the centre? What would you like to do most? I was just talking to Nicky about that. I was saying I would like to learn on some of the agility right. because we would like a dog ourselves in the future. And I was, I was saying that I thought it'd be nice if they had a dog that would have some interest itself by doing agility. Yeah. You say you don't have a dog at the moment. Do you and Brian both work full time? Yes. So that's the reason you haven't got a dog? That's right. We wouldn't have a dog when, unless we could. I could take it possibly to work now. But it's not fair on the dog just to lie there all day, unless it was a little dog that was sort of not interested in that's all it did. But a proper border collie doesn't deserve to lie about all day. It needs to work and it needs to have some interest. So until we can give it that attention, we don't believe it's right to have a dog. So Carol, any suggestions or comments as to how we might improve things here? Um, just get some more volunteers if you could. It'd be it's very rewarding. Um, it's hard work but it's rewarding and you're seeing the dogs growing and you're seeing them actually quite surprising as you say how the pups are growing and watching them learn more every time you come, getting more intelligent and their own little quirks.